Roberto Carlos. Roberto's parents worked from morning to night in the fields, where they grew coffee for mere pennies. The family had four children, and their provision was a very difficult task. As early as 12 years old, Roberto Carlos was forced to personally go to work at a textile factory. In parallel, he began to play for the team of his factory, as part of which he was noticed by a scout of a local professional club. Scout barely knocked out Carlos's day off from the factory's management and took it for viewing. Then you yourself know everything, a variegated variety of trophies with Real Madrid and the Brazilian national team, and as a result, the title of the best left back in the history of football and millions of dollars in the bill. Ronaldo Another representative of Latin America, Crita Ronaldo. The boy's best talent was noticed by Brazil's best football academies as a child. However, the boy's parents were so poor that they could not provide his son with travel to training bases. In this regard, Ronaldo was forced to go to the local football section, which, to put it mildly, was not much different from the yard teams. However, this did not stop cutting the diamond of striker talent. Already at the age of 17, Zubastic signed its first contract with Cruzeiro, and things quickly went uphill. In his first season at an adult level, he became the top scorer in all tournaments in which he took part, a phenomenal achievement for a 17-year-old guy. Then everything went according to the script of the best dramatic films, two golden balls, two world titles and a bunch of different trophies with the best clubs on the planet and a lot of money. Cristiano Ronaldo His mother worked in a school cafeteria, and his father cut shrubs, so there was a catastrophic lack of money. Moreover, initially Cristiano's parents agreed on the decision to have an abortion, because in the family there were already three children, the provision of which was extremely difficult. But later they changed their minds, thanks to which we have the opportunity to watch the game of one of the best football players in history, Cristiano Ronaldo. Crero's childhood was, to put it mildly, not in the most rosy way. There wasn't enough money in the family, and then my father got addicted to alcohol. However, this did not break Cristiano and he became one of the greatest and richest football players in history.